What's up guys? Welcome back to some cheat landers. <clears throat> so this run is gonna be my favorite shaft build. Shaft budget build, a rock and an amp, damage conversion, anti-rad, silence. And this is a regular backpack because the uh, the three-tiered backpacks were going for like more than 3k and I couldn't find a decent one tier with a decent attachment for more than like or for less than two. So I was like, screw it, this is like 900 bucks, so we'll just grab a tier 2 this time. I mean, we're only in the shaft, so who's going to care about our shaft? So they're only like 1,000. I think you can get them for, in the exchange for 900. Oh, 600 in the exchange. So if you want to go super budget, you can. But <clears throat> I usually try to pick up one with a decent. Something a little extra, just... For the sake of it so this one's not fine we get a little extra pen and some silence if we make it blue which i don't know if we'll be able to make it blue but it couldn't hurt to try um so we need a sight mount and then we just need uh, i definitely go with the extended on this because this thing only has a 20 round mag normally and having the extra 10 rounds does help a good bit. So we're looking for like a cluster mag and it looks like there's none for any better than that. So we'll grab just a regular cluster and I don't know maybe headshot is the way to go. It's kind of cheap. Maybe. No, maybe we just grab this. For a headshot. This gun doesn't do a lot of damage and it's got a slow fire rate, so. And then you basically just want like a light stock. And if you get a little something extra, no harm, no foul. Extra reload, that's fine. And then you grab yourself a little bit of 9mm, some blue ammo. And a couple of meds, some smokes, we run an anti-rad, <clears throat> and we got our sniper, we could use like three more rounds, I mean it's probably not necessary because I doubt we need it, but we'll fill it anyway. And that's it, there you go, it's a nice cheap shaft build. Probably best to take headshots with this sucker because damage is kind of weak in the RPM. It definitely has a slow, slow fire rate. Um, I don't know if it's any slower than that, but it feels like it. If it ain't slower, it's just as slow. Except I think the UMP hits harder. Ideally, purple ammo would probably be better, but we're going with budget. Purple ammo is expensive, right? think about it after I'm in rain. I'm like, hey, if we want to make any kind of money, we should probably have keys.
And like, I rebounded. I couldn't open the door and then I rebounded. Dang, I almost killed him. I would have totally had that if it weren't for the lag. Oh, my sides. Well, that happens too sometimes. But that's a decent shaft build if you want to try that out. And that's probably one of the cheaper guns that you could possibly run. Whoops, I think I accidentally bumped my microphone thing. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Anyways, what I was saying was, yeah, that's one of the cheaper guns that you could run. There we go. Gosh, I accidentally bumped my thing and it like jacked my volume. I think muted and unmuted my mic. What is that about? Oh, that was tragic. That just... Bad, bad lag all at the same time. It's just awful. There ain't a lot I can do about that. But next next episode, we'll do a Scourge build, which, oof, that's going to be pricey. A lot of these I would recommend just running as sniper rifles, but if you do decide to primary them, I'll show you how I like to build them. But that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.